folks, Jason Crispin here with JC's Bees, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to do an alcohol wash. Um, you do this to determine the mite level in your uh, beehive, or your bee colony. Um, that's going to tell you uh, how well they're able to manage the mites, and uh, how badly you need to treat for mites. One thing I want to point out before you get started is rubbing alcohol and your bee smoker not a good combination side by side to so make sure you keep them feet away from each other or you could have bad news in a split second. Okay, I went through the brood chamber. I found my frame of brood. Got a lot of open brood on this side and cat brood on this side. Another thing I did was I located the frame with the queen on it. I made sure that this was not the one. So this frame is ready now. What we're going to do, we're going to begin by shaking in the bees. Then we're going to bring them all to one corner. Getting us a nice scoop. Now on goes the lid. It's approximately 300 bees. You can see here on the lid, it's got a hardware cloth, and it's actually two lids that I've soldered together so that I'm able to screw a jar on the top and a jar on the bottom. That works really well. Is it needed? No. You could just put the hardware cloth over your lid and simply pour it into a a white bowl or something and do your mite count. Now as far as these bees, you can just dump them back up on top here. We'll throw the frame back in. Now we can close this hive back up. We've got everything we need to run the test. Okay. So we've got approximately 300 bees here in our mason cup, mason jar. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and we're going to wash them. Now this rubbing alcohol will kill the bees, but you know, you got to tell yourself you're doing this to benefit the colony, so you have to do it. Okay, then I'm going to take my other mason jar and screw on top. And we're going to shake it. And what this is going to do is finish killing the bees. It's also going to dislodge any mites that are on the bees. Okay. Now for years, I just uh, treated for mites regardless of the mite count. And... Uh, I don't really know anything about my bees because that's the way I chose to do it. I don't know if they had any kind of raw sensitivity uh, traits or not because I never checked for them. So this year it was uh, encouraged that I try this and uh, it's taught me a great deal and uh, I wanted to share it with you. Because it is time to uh, start thinking about mite control. Okay, the first wash I've got one, two, three, four mites. Okay, to further this test a little more, I'm going to go over to our water spigot and fill up to about here with water and rinse them off again. Okay, so we know we've got four mites in the rubbing alcohol jar. We're going to set that off to the side. I'm going to bring in this white tub now. Now I filled this with water. And I'm going to give it another shake. I'm going to dump it in here. I'm going to get another thing of water. I'm going to do this three times. I'm going to repeat it with water. Okay, I'm back again with my second dose of water. Okay, we'll do it one more time. 
Okay, the last time. Now, if you only do it with the alcohol and don't wash it with the water, your results, I don't know how reliable they are. By taking the extra step and washing them with water, you're going to get a lot more accurate reading. I mean, hell, you already killed the bees. Why not get the best reading you can? Okay, let's take the camera off the tripod and take a look here. Now, in this water is uh, part of my gasket from my uh, jar here. So don't think all of these specks that you're seeing are mites. The ones that I see are mites. Them again. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight in here, and in my jar, I see one, two, three, four. That's 12 mites. Wow. And this is a swarm I got back in the early part of May. So there you go, folks. It's a pretty simple test to run. And, uh, you know, if you've got a bunch of hives, make you some identification numbers. I've just used cattle tags this year. It just makes sense. I'm able to move the tags if something happens to the colony. I ain't got no markings on the box that are out of whack. Um, so the cattle tags is working out good for me. I can write down all my mite numbers, go home and convert all that over to get a percentage and see what how things look per hive. Now if you have a bunch of hives, if you have 10, I would suggest you test them all. If you have 20, jump around a little bit and see how spotty your test is, how much variance there is. Um, you wouldn't necessarily have to go through all 20 hives or more. But, uh, you know, it is that getting that time of season to get your uh, bees treated for mites if the levels are high, or even if they're low and you're just afraid to roll the dice without testing and uh, see if they win or not. Um, just make sure you get your uh, bees treated in time that they're able to raise healthy bees for winter. It's August right now um, in Central Ohio, and this is the month I will be treating uh, any of the hives that have the high grow account so that way they're able to have healthy bees going into winter and they stay strong and and thrive all winter so if you like this video give me a thumbs up i'd appreciate it and uh we'll see you next time out in the bee yard